Hey guys, it's Arthur Images here. And today I want to take you behind the scenes of a recent interview that I had a shoot. Let's get into it. Okay, so for this interview, I wanted it to be light and bright. I wanted it to give a really warm feeling. One of the challenges that I had was by the time I had to set up to start getting ready to film the interview, uh, the sun was going down and the location that I'm filming this interview in has got a lot of windows, a lot of natural light, which would have been great for this shoot. But I knew by the time I was set up and would have been ready to hit record, the sun would have long dropped out of the sky. So. What I had to do was use my lights to really give me the look that I wanted. So the first light that I want to talk about is the key light. The light that I used for this was my Godox NOLED M600D. Uh, it's a 600 watt uh, COB light from Godox. It's great, it's got a lot of power. I place it ahead of my subject so that it's not pointed directly at her and the soft edges of the light will just sort of wrap around her face and give her that nice exposure. So you can see from this diagram, I just have the soft box off to the side and slightly ahead of her. So I love using these Godox TL60 tubes because they're really lightweight. And what that allowed me to do is just boom this light in just off to the backside of our subject to highlight her hair and her shoulders, which just made her separate from the background a little bit and add definition to the shot. Now, the next light I used in the setup was my Godox VL150. It's a 150 watt light and it's small and compact. And what I used it in this setup was to illuminate the background of the room that we we're filming the interview in. Now, to help with that, I needed to spread the light fairly evenly across the wall in the background. And I grabbed my Godox FLS10. It's a Fresnel lens that came with the Godox 600D. And I just popped that onto the front of the 150. And with a 35 degree beam spread from the Fresnel lens, what it was able to do was give a wide area of coverage on the back wall and give a good light spread there. Now I used two more lights in the setup. I added the TL60 tubes to the window frame. I just put them to sit in the windowsill to illuminate that window and give a feel like there is some ambient light coming in from the outside. We were up on the sixth floor for this shoot. So if you're on the main floor, it would have been a different story. I would probably have put the Godox 150 and some other lights outside, but that was not an option. So putting the tubes in the windowsill was my best effort into adding some more illumination to that left corner of the frame. Now let's take a look at what the exposure was looking like. Now I used the Atomos Ninja 5 and I love using this monitor to just get a good check on my exposure. So if you pull up the false color, this is what the false color looked like. And if you know anything about false color, you really want to get that sort of neutral gray tone on your subject. But if you look at this image as well, you can see in the background what that Fresnel was doing, spilling that light on the wall. It really wasn't giving us too much blown out highlights. So all in all, I was pleased with the exposure of this image. And yeah, I hit the record button and just went ahead and recorded the interview. Um, so here's the log footage coming straight out of the camera. And then here's the graded, what the graded footage looked like in the end. That's it. That's how I got this image. 
Thanks for coming along with me and having a look at the behind the scenes process. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, be sure to hit the like button. That would do a lot for this channel and help me out tremendously. If you have any questions about the equipment and gear that I use, maybe the camera settings or anything like that, just let me know in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. And if you haven't subscribed already, think about subscribing. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe, but if you want to subscribe, feel free and go ahead and you will get first dibs on all the new videos that I have to put out. My name is Arthur Images. It was good to see you. Thanks for watching to the end, guys. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.